Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. Let's take a look at this word problem slash graph mix, so GED typical. It says the bar graph shows the religious affiliations of New Zealanders from 1991 to 2006. In 2006, the population of New Zealand was about 4.2 million. Approximately how many New Zealanders identified as having no religion in 2006? When I first read this question, I thought, wow, why did I put this particular question so late in the sequence? It's so easy. And then I realized I had almost tricked myself. Let me show you what I mean. The question says approximately how many New Zealanders identified as having no religion. I went straight to the key, saw that the no religion was purple. And since I was talking about the year 2006, I just looked at the 2006 purple and went, oh, look, 35. And I said to myself, oh, 35 New Zealanders identified as having no religion. And then I thought, that's not a very big number, and realized that I hadn't read the question as closely as I thought. Let's take a look at what they're asking me. It says approximately how many New Zealanders identified as having no religion. So how many New Zealanders? If I say how many New Zealanders, I'm talking about how many people. I'm looking for an answer that's in people. But yet, if I look at my graph here, I come across here. This is not 35 people. This is 35%. 35% of New Zealanders. I don't have it in people right now. I have it in percent. And remember that a percent is a piece or a portion out of something. And I have a lot of students that I say, a piece or a portion of what? And they say, out of 100. <laughs> yes. When I say 35%, it's like saying 35 out of every 100. But there's not only 100 New Zealanders that I'm pulling out of. There were a lot of New Zealanders. How many New Zealanders were there? Well, it says in 2006, the population of New Zealand was about... 4.2 million. So I'm needing to take a chunk of that 4.2 million. I'm needing to take 35% of 4.2 million. Guys, this is an act of scaling. Students don't realize it, but the word of means multiplication. I'm taking 4.2 million, and yes, I'm scaling it down because I'm multiplying by only 35%, but it's still scaling. It's still multiplication. So what I'm saying is 35% of 4.2 million. Now, I kind of wrote this half in English, half in math right now, and I'm going to translate it all the way to English. So um, there's basically three ways to deal with percents on the GED because of that wonderful GED calculator. But I'll just do it the most common way students know, which is to convert a percent into a decimal by doing the implied division. Percent literally means divide by 100. And every time you divide by 100, you just lose two decimal places worth of value. So the whole number 35 turns into 0.35. Okay, now of course we said of means time, so I'm going to times it. Now careful, there's not only 4.2 New Zealanders, there's 4.2 million, which means I have a 4 right here, and then I have the millions comma where, the des where you see the decimal place, and then a 2, and then you need to keep going with zeros until that 4 really is in the millions place. And so there we go, now I have 4, that's the same as 4.2 million, 4 million and a little bit more. Okay, and now I can type this expression into my calculator. Now, I had a student the other day who was like, Kate, I can't do it in a calculator. My teacher said I have to do it by hand. Well, I'm sorry that that happened, but FYI, if you had this on the GED, you would have a calculator. Um, but even if you had to do it by hand, it's not that bad. I'll show you guys after I type it into my TA. So I typed 0.35 times... Four two zero 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 zero, and careful, you don't need to put the commas in the TI. They were just there for me to help me write my number. And I get this number out, 1,470,000. And uh, so how many New Zealanders said they had uh, no religion in the year 2006? About 1,470,000. Okay, for those of you who would have to multiply this by hand, the great news is you can ignore the not important parts of numbers when you're multiplying. So 35, 0.35 multiplies just like 35 does. 
and 4.2 million multiplies just like 4.2 will. And then after I finish my multiplying, I'll consider my zeros and decimals. So 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. 4 times 5 is 20. Uh, 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14. And I get 0, 7, 4, 1. Okay, now it's time to go back to my problem and consider... Um, all the decimal place information that I just dropped when I was doing my scratch work. So first thing to notice is, boom, we need to add on one, two, three, four, five decimal places worth of value because I dropped five trailing zeros. So let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, second thing to notice is that I have two decimal places, one, two in my problem. And so I'm going to lose two decimal places worth of value. One, two, decimal ones up there. And we can see see that that's one, four, seven, zero, 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 zero. I drop zeros after the decimal place. And I do get the same answer, but a lot more chance for error with those zeros. All right. So how many New Zealanders identified as having no religion in 2006? About 1,470,000 did. If you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, feel free to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.